Let's see, this one is different, and... Oh! <laughs> this is the worst thing I have ever seen! The Nerf modding hobby is one of customization, personalization, taking a store-bought toy and turning it into whatever thing you possibly want by cutting, fitting, sanding, gluing all these different parts and pieces into the thing that your heart desires. And usually a very important process of all of that is painting or hydro dipping or doing something to bring all those parts and pieces into one unique setup. And that is the thing I usually hate the most about the hobby because usually paint jobs don't work out for me. And I've tried, I have like 70, 80 cans of spray paint. I've done hydro dipping and I don't even have all the parts for that. I need to buy like a tank and have like a water heater to make that be able to be working all the times of the year. I have an airbrush system with a whole bunch of different paints for that and expensive airbrushes. I even have a CNC vinyl cutter. And yet every time something seems to go wrong and there has to be an easier way. And that's exactly what I thought when I saw something called Blaster Wraps, which is basically like a D-brand skin for your phone, but not nearly as protective or anything like that. It's meant to just customize the look of your blaster, much like a skin that you'd put on like your PlayStation with your controller or your Nintendo Switch or something like that. And when I saw that, I thought it was a brilliant idea, and I never thought of that again until they emailed me and said, do you want to review one of our things? And I said, sure, I saw it on Facebook some time ago, and I was somewhat interested, because it could be really cool if it's like, cheap and decent quality and makes my blaster look good and they said yeah we'll send you one out at least that's what i thought they were gonna do they actually sent me a flipping million of them i i don't even know okay well okay so uh full disclosure right off the bat is that yes they were sent me all of this stuff and they asked me to do a video on it i told them i'm going to give them my unbiased opinion and they offered me an affiliate thing to set up with them which I'm not even going to do unless I like the product, because I have some concerns before I even open up any of these. For example, what's the price like? Well, it's not bad, but it's usually about the cost of the blaster. They have a variety of different skins, Kronos, Strife, they even have magazine skins, and I'm sure as time goes on, if they're successful, they're going to have even more. And they have these in a variety of different flipping colors and patterns and stuff like that, and they even allow you to do some custom ones. I, at least I saw custom options for just the Kronos. I'm not sure if they're still doing that, but they apparently sent me a customized thing, so we'll see how that works out. And then the durability. How durable are these skins? Do they just peel right off? Do they rub at the edges and kind of, you know, be annoying? Do they fade really easily? That's actually one I don't know if I can... I'm gonna try to test it, but I don't know how well that's gonna work out for me. How easy are these to go on? That's really important. Like, how hard is it going to be to make this thing look good? And I think even beyond that is how good it looks once it's on the blaster, because if I'm gonna see white lines absolutely everywhere, that may be an issue still. So I'm not going to talk about the affiliate thing. I'm going to do Stu the video on this stuff, and if I do like it, I will shill the ever-loving crap out of it, because YouTube is a very volatile thing, and money is always in need. So, let's take a look at the ones they sent me. I do know there's some customized something or others in here, and it's kind of hard to tell what ones are which, but this is one very clearly for the Strife, and you can kind of tell that it's something different based on the little thing over here. So we're gonna open its... its pizza. So if you ever wanted your Strife to be covered in pizza, you're probably never going to find another Strife that has a pizza dip on it. And <laughs> joke's on them, it's not even pizza dip. It's your blaster wrap stickers. It comes with a bonus stickers and it has everything kind of laid out in the way that you would probably expect. Just kind of put these out. It's a bunch of pieces. It goes on a Strife. Do I don't... No, if I even have a strife, I can put this on right now, to be perfectly honest. I may have to look for one. I have Quincy, but I'm supposed to be killing Quincy. I still might sacrifice Quincy for the name of this, though. And this just gives you kind of a thing of how to put these on. There's a lot of different pieces here. It's kind of like a model, except for it's stickers for your strife. What else? Well, here's one, again, for the strife. This one looks to be almost exactly the same kind of thing, just with a arctic camo kind of pattern. That's kind of cool. I mean, that would be really hard to paint and maybe hydro dip. And you could always like not use parts of it if you want to keep some of the original stuff or paint some of the blaster, then put some of this on as long as it's good. That would be nice. Let's check out one of the Kronos kind. 
We've got Chronos here, and it looks like it's... I don't know what I'm looking... Oh my god, this is a customized one. This is very clearly a walrus, and it has a Walcom S7 badge on it. Well then, that's definitely one that's meant for me. Well, that's that's absolutely awesome. That That's really awesome, because I, I... Wow. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Hopefully they're good. Let's try another Kronos one. Let's see here. Let's grab... This is the same one. So they sent me multiples. Okay, that's good, because they did say if I wanted to do a giveaway, which I'm not going to do in this video... I can certainly do a giveaway of some of these, because I definitely don't need all of them. Let's see, this one is different, and... Oh! <laughs> this is the worst thing I have ever seen! I need more Kronoses! I want to have the click the like button and subscribe Kronos! That's the best one so far! Bar none! That's great! It's so bad, it's good! What else we got here? Uh, ooh, this one's interesting. So we've got, like, a tie-dye kind of thing. <gasps> With my logo and a hazard symbol on it. That's the logo that I haven't really used. I've posted on, like, Facebook and stuff like that. But, uh, that's a logo I'm planning on kind of using for the channel, and then everybody said they hated it, so I don't know what to do about that. Okay, well, this just gets more and more interesting the more I'm going to open all these up. Screw it. It's going to be so much fun to try to put them back in their packages. What else we got? Oh, it's another one of those. And is it the same? Yeah, it's the same thing. Well, I have two that I can very easily give away if I don't plan on keeping. And we got one more of the Strife. There are magazine wraps and stuff like that. This one's just a digital camo painting pattern. Yep. All right. There are magazines and stuff like that too, so most of these have a matching magazine for like a rival mag or a 18 dart mag that you can get to put on there. That's reasonably cool. So I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna stick one of these on the Kronos. I, I, I guess we have to do the walrus one, but I really wanna do the like and subscribe because that is so, so bizarre. Yeah, I really like the like and subscribe one, but I think we're gonna go with the walrus-themed Kronos one, because it's a walrus theme, and that should be pretty good. I guess I should probably clean this off? This wasn't one of the things it said on the instructions, but anytime I put on, like, a screen protector, I used to work at a phone store. This was one of the first things you would do to make sure there's no oil or dirt or anything that would inhibit the sticker sticking to the thing. All right. Take this back out. There are some of this stuff that's not going to be used. Unless I take the blaster apart. Um, I'll figure that out as we go on, I guess. But first thing I want to check to see is the durability. So I'm going to grab this bonus sticker. Um, there we go. Oh, okay. So if you thought this was just like normal paper stuff, you're entirely wrong. It is some kind of skinny material. It is not photocopy paper. It's it's like a vinyl. Yeah, it's like, okay. It reminds me of that stuff like when you'd put like a, if you've worked in a store or something like that, when you put the thing up on the window, like one of those decals, it reminds me of that. I am going to grab some sandpaper and I am going to Well, it's not like it should survive that. It didn't do that bad, but it definitely does scratch and scuff. So it's not bulletproof in that regard. If you want to give it a little bit more durability, you'd probably have to put a clear coat over it. It's still really sticky. That's not half bad. That's not bad. I, I'm. It's a little bit better than I expected so far. I was almost worried it was going to be just some kind of like printer paper or something that they laser cut out. So, let's do the left side first. We'll need... Oh, it says it right there. Left side. There we go. That over here. And 5L goes on the slide, which I'm trying to figure out. It says left side. So, we're going to peel this off. There are cuts in it already, so it will fit on certain points. 
and then we're gently going to try to place this on the blaster. It does cover up some screw posts, which is a little concerning. So if you do want to access the screws, you either have to punch a hole in it, or you'll have to destroy, you'll have to remove the film. Our first one is on there. Let's see if we can tackle the entirety of 6L, which is a massive piece, absolutely gigantic. So it smooths out pretty good. It does work to a pretty decent degree. Um, it's stretchy and it can, if you look, I'll get some close-ups, but there are places where it's stretched a little bit too much, but it, it does smooth out rather nice and it's very, very tacky. So I could see this working to some degree. If you had more time than me, you could probably stick this in a way that's absolutely perfect but so far not bad at all and i'm rather impressed it's not perfect but they do try to make some parts overlap i'm not certain if there's like a uh, a step-by-step -step where to put things to avoid having errors but oh i guess four two one two th I, I probably should have done this in a different order but we'll see how it turns out because there are overlapping parts which i'm rather impressed with so this was supposed to be the first piece right here and this is where i start to get a little worried because i have this stupid kit and i don't want to take this entire blaster apart to put the sticker on let's see if it's possible to cut this Oh, yep, yeah, it cuts rather easily, so that is one thing I can do to try to make this. So I'm a little bit more impressed now. It still isn't perfect, but if I put a little bit more time into it, I bet it would have looked a lot better. All right, I have used every piece I possibly can. There's parts in the grooves I don't want to cut out and stick in there. That'll take forever, and I had to cut off a piece from back there because I would have to have removed that. Who knew it was for a stock Kronos and not the one I've modified? That being said, I'm, I'm almost a little indifferent about it. So if you can't paint, which many of you, I totally understand, can't, don't want to, don't have the space, still want to customize blaster, this can do something because the actual design, the way it's meant to go on, isn't that bad it has cutouts it has overlaps they did as good of a job i'd say you could probably do with this kind of material but that doesn't mean that if you're like a modeler or something like that which i build a lot and paint a lot you're gonna get a, exactly a huge amount of mileage out of this i can already see areas that i'm constantly trying to stick down a little bit better on, especially on the edges and I, if you look close to it, yeah, you can tell there are imperfections and mess-ups all over the place. That's just going to happen. But, from a distance, it looks like what it's supposed to. It looks like a Kronos that has a walrus on it. This is Walk-On S7. And I feel like if you weren't using such a definite pattern, like if you were using like the camo pattern or something like that, this would look a lot better, even something even more abstract. I feel like this could work very well for something like that. But you can still tell it's definitely stickers on a blaster. There's there's no escaping that. If I did it in a better order, it would probably look slightly better because there are places that it overlaps, but I think that's still going to be an issue pretty much no matter what. There are places like right here where I scratched it with my fingernail. 
that's a little bit of an issue, but it looks the part. I mean, I'm gonna kind of try. No, because it overlaps in like the important areas where it, it shouldn't exactly. Now, if I'm shoving this in and out of a holster all the time, I'm probably going to ruin it because it's going to scratch off. And is that necessarily a bad thing? Because then it just looks like your paint is scraped away because it's scraping into white plastic, at least with the uh, chronos here. And there are very little air bubbles and what little air bubbles and stuff there are. It's a very flexible material, so it's very easy for me to get it. I'm not... I'm not gonna say this isn't bad. Like, the cop-out answer, of course, is that it's for kids. I mean, Nerf Blasters are for kids, this is for kids. And if you have a kid, as long as you can sit down and do this with them or whatnot, I'm sure they would flip and love this. They might even get more use out of their blaster if they have one that has their specific favorite colors or something on it like that. Or if you can get custom ones of these still, get a custom one with like their name and stuff on it. It costs more, but that may be an option. But I don't want to go for just the cop-out answer. Could somebody who realistically does not want to paint use this to customize their blaster? And I think the answer to that is yes. As long as you're not going for like a factory clean look. And I would say probably more importantly, if you're really worried about it, putting on at least a primer layer. That way you can, you know, hide some of these edges and whatnot. I think this would look great. If I had painted this blaster black and then covered it with the sticker, you would never see any of these markings. It would be great. It would look absolutely amazing. You'd think I had painted it. And that's a great idea. And again, as it scrapes, it's going to scrape down to white, but that just looks like paint chip. So that's not half bad. So for the, what are these? These are like 15 bucks, I think, for the Kronos kind. And I think the Strife ones are like 18. Magazine ones are like 12 to 14. That's not bad. Free shipping if you buy at least $25 worth, which I think is a pretty good idea because that's two stickers. And I'm going to mention that if you do get one of these, I would definitely, especially if you get like a custom one, I would get it in twos. But that's not bad. There are, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to get this, especially around this badge. This does not want to stick down in a way that I'm happy with it. And I'll probably still be finding little areas until the end of time that I'm not happy with this thing. But can you even tell from sitting right there if I didn't have the glare of the lights in it? That looks, I mean, you can you can see what it is. It's a walrus on the side that says Walcom S7. Like that's incredible. So how do I, I'm, I'm more impressed with it now that I've used one than I was when I first saw the idea. And I think they're pretty reasonably priced and it's definitely a good, Here's a material right here. Like, it does rip, but it stretches before it rips. It cuts really easily. It You can unstick it and stick it again. So, it's not... Ex I thought it was just going to be stickers. This is way better. This is like a vinyl decal, essentially, for your blaster. It is going to be near impossible to get these perfect, though. You're going to have edges where it's just not cutting right. I think having a blade like this would help cut some of that excess off. You could make this pretty. It's not going to be easy, though. I am going to leave it there. I've shown you all the kits. I'll probably do more in the future. I'm probably going to... Well, give me your opinions, because if you look at this and you think it's pretty good, because I'm I'm so far, I'm, I'm rather impressed. I'm definitely going to look into do that affiliate thing, because they give me a cut of every sale, a pretty substantial cut, and that would really help the channel. But if you guys think it's garbage, well, there's really no reason for me to try. And I know there's still going to be people in the comment section, no matter what, that's going to say this is garbage. And I'm not going to listen to them. I want some pretty in-depth, honest feedback about it, because I don't think this is a lost cause at all. I think this is actually pretty sweet for what it is. It is something, if you don't want to paint your blaster and you just want to put something on it that makes it look different, this could work rather well. And it's a rather forgiving material. It looks good. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused about it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to see what the discussion is about this, because I think this is kind of cool now that I've had a chance to look at it, but let me know what you think. Other than that, I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one.